Hello everyone. From this class, I will be talking about how to use SQL functions. We will start with the fundamental function called SELECT. The purpose of SELECT is to pull data from databases so that we can show data workers in a business report. Let me use the customer's table as an example to show you how to use the SELECT function. If you want to follow my lecture, you can also go to this cloud computing website. I listed the website link in this video's description section. If you click a Restore Database, you should be able to see a list of data tables. Each table contains different types of business data. If you want to see all data records stored in the customer's table, obviously you can click on the link customers, and then you should be able to see all records on the web page. Here I want to show you how to use select to pull data from customers. I want to use select to show all data records stored in the customer's table. The way of using select is select from. Let me type it in. When you use select from, Remember, after the function from, you want to type in the table name, the name of the table from which you pull data. We want to pull data from the customer's table, then we type in customers after the function from. After the function select, you want to type in the column name, the name of the columns from which you pull data. After select, if you see an asterisk, that means you want to pull data from all columns in the customer's table. Obviously, you can specify a column name, then you can pull data from that particular column, right? I will show you how to use that later in this video. But uh, after select, if you see an asterisk, that means you want to pull data from uh, all columns of the customer's table. Let's see the result. Let's click uh, Run SQL. You see, we get uh, all data from all columns stored in the customer's table. As I just said, we can see data from a particular column, right? So instead of using an asterisk after select, we can specify a column name. Let's say I only care about the customer ID. I only want to see one, two, three, four, and so on from the customer ID column. What should I do? Let's remove the asterisk and then type in customer ID. And then click uh, run SQL. Then you, you are able to see all customer ID numbers in just the one column, customer ID, right? Let's remove customer ID, change it to an asterisk, right? Click run SQL again. What if I want to see two columns? Let's say customer ID and uh, contact name, these two. Customer ID column and uh, contact name. I need to specify these two column names, right? Let's remove the asterisk. After select, I want to type in customer ID, comma, contact name. And then click uh, run SQL button. Now you can see information from these two columns, right? What if you want to see three columns? You just uh, learned that. Let's remove, let's click uh, run SQL. Let's see. We want to see customer ID, contact name, and address, these three columns. Then you, you don't need to use the asterisk, but you want to type in customer ID, comma, contact name, comma, address, right? A 
nothing else needs to be changed. Let's click uh, Run SQL button. Now you can see it records from uh, three columns. Okay. Remember, after select, you want to specify column names, the names of columns from which you pull data. After from, you want to specify a table name, the name of the table from which you pull data. Let's try another example. Let's say I want to show all data records from the categories table. What should I do? Select, I said all data records, right? Then you should use an asterisk from categories. And then click uh, Run SQL. Now you can see all categories are stored in the database. This is how you use the select from. Let's go back to the customers table because we'll focus on customers. Select an asterisk from customers. And then click uh, Run SQL button. Here I want to mention two points. Notice that at the end of uh, each line, I used a semicolon. This is how you end a query. Each line of functions is called a, a SQL query. If you want to end one query, right, you must type in a semicolon at the end of the query. The second point I want to mention is, notice that all the titles are in bold color. This means we must use the same way they are specified in the database. For example, if you want to show all IDs from the customer ID column, right? Notice that customer ID has no space between letters. So when you type in customer ID after the select function, right? You shouldn't use a space between letters because customer ID in the database has no letters. You must use the same way the column names are specified. You must type in customer ID with no space between letters. If you have a space between letters, right? Let's say you type in a typo. You have a customer space ID. Then you will get a what? You will get an error message because the database cannot find a column name called a customer space ID. Let's run the SQL query. Let's see the error message. You see error, couldn't prepare statements. No such column called a customer ID, customer space ID. Let's click OK. And then let's remove the space, right? Let's say I want to see all records from a customer ID column. No space between letters. Click uh, Run SQL. Now we get uh, all records from the customer ID column. This is how you use a select from. One more point I want to mention is uh, SQL functions are not case sensitive, which means if you use uh, lower cases and upper cases to type in the same function, the, the function will be considered the same. Let's say I want to type in lowercase select, right? I can still pull data from the customer ID column. Let's click uh, Run SQL. You can still see the records from the customer ID column. So there is no difference between lowercase and uppercase SQL function. As a convention, I will be using uppercases to type SQL functions throughout this semester. It's a convention, but it's not a requirement. Right? I just want to highlight the SQL functions. That's why I will be using uppercases to type SQL functions. So let's change select to uppercases. This website is very considerate, actually. If you type a SQL function correctly, the correct function will be in blue color. If you have a typo in the function name, 
then the round sequel function will be in black color. So in the future, if you see, if you type in a sequel function, it's in black color, you need to figure out what's wrong with it. Let's say uh, I have a typo in select. I forget the C, the letter C. Select. You see, it's in black color. It's a reminder that your function is not correct. It's a service from the website. Let's make uh, the change. Oh, by the way, this website is a free cloud computing project. It's an open source project. We are not paying for the service. We didn't pay anything. We use it for free. But the website has to keep their business going, right? That's why you can see on this website, uh, you can see a lot of uh, advertisements. But uh, let me clarify this. This advertisement has nothing to do with our university, has nothing to do with our class. So you don't have to click on the advertisements on this website because we can use it for free. You don't need to click on the advertisement. This is how we use the select from. 